So that means a trip out of town for a lot of families. Indianapolis International Airport says this is just the start of the busiest travel week the airport's ever experienced. Ever experienced. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we sent our Rich Nye to check this all out. Rich, don't get on a plane out there. <laughs> It sounds like a good idea. I've talked to lots of people going to lots of great places today. The afternoon surge has just passed here at the Indianapolis International Airport. That was from three to five, but the airport is still quite busy tonight. Indianapolis Airport Authority expects 19,000 departures a day from yesterday through Monday on average. Now the busiest time is in those early mornings. We're talking about between four and seven a.m. 20% of the departures are in those early morning hours. Fall break is underway for many central Indiana schools. I talked to families today going on vacation to California, Florida, Disney World, of course, Mexico, other warmer locations. The school is out for one week for some, even two weeks for some schools. When you look at the school calendar, especially for high schools and college, um, they're really spread out for the month. And, and so we see a big overlap of, of schools this week. And then plus, people are ready to travel. They're ready to go somewhere and spend time with their family. We all have our water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> we all have our own backpacks, our own bags. We have plenty of snacks. We have, milk. We have all of our toys. <laughs> uh, I just feel like being prepared is very important. And that's the he of the Huff family. They're headed to Fort Lauderdale and then they'll get on a cruise ship. They're meeting up with 17 family members to celebrate grandma's 60th birthday. Back here live at the airport, you're looking into checkpoint B, concourse B, and you can see the security line is weaving back and forth about five to six rows deep. That's about the same way it looked an hour ago when we were live with you here at the airport. Again, airport officials say to be here a full two hours before your flight departs just to make sure you can get through check-in and security and not have any of that stress of making your flight, which can be even more stressful, Felicia and Jenny, when you have two or three, maybe four little ones tagging along <laughs> and all part of that procedure That's as true. well. Oh yeah, if you have the whole kit and caboodle with you, you want to make sure you are set and ready to go.